I forgot that you're different from the rest. I've always wondered what it is that sets certain ravens apart from others. Maybe I'll find out. Hey everybody, welcome back for another Armored Core 6 cosplay video. Today I honor the request of Zero Blaze 1963 and try my hand at the AC Zenaida from Armored Core Last Raven. Also, this time I did something a little special alongside this where I recorded and narrated in real time my actual process of building this build. And that will be coming shortly soon after, maybe like Tuesday. This one will be a freebie to everyone, but I plan on making future behind the scenes videos a members only type of thing. But anyhow, this time I also did a little homework and dug up some arena and profile info of hers uh, from the Armor Core wiki. Link is in the description. Raven named Zenaida, bounty, 70,000 credits, committed to killing you, AC name, Fascinator. Zenaida has been extremely busy with various assignments lately. I don't know whether or not it's true, but many believe that she's the most skilled among these ravens who are not closely aligned to any particular group. She is an independent uh, contractor like ourselves in AC6. Uh, not much is known about her due to the fact that she is relatively new to the raven fold, but she's already proven to be a very capable pilot. Keep an eye on her. This is uh, according to Ed Weiss of Armor Core Last Raven. And in the arena, it states middleweight, two-leg model offering balanced stats as well as excellent mobile battle performance. Pilot is a deadly close-range combatant, so you know I'm gonna like her. So I won't go too much into reason why I uh, chose what I did on everything here with the build because uh, I'm gonna save that for the video a little bit later. You know, the one coming up. But starting with the frame, I went with the HC 2000 BC Shade Eye Head from RAD. Our core is the IAC01C Ephemera from Rubicon Institute. I landed on the AC 2000 Tool Arm Arms from RAD. And the legs are the Rubicon Institute IBC03L HAL 826 legs. Getting into them guts, or internals if you will. Her booster is the IBC03B NGI001 for the extreme quick boost but high power consumption. The FCS was an easy choice because everything about her is short range. So the IAC01F Ocelus is gonna be it ladies and gents. I almost put an aorta generator in here but then I realized I didn't need to. I can use a Yaba and still function just fine. In fact, great. And I threw the assault armor in there just for some funsies. Toasty. Now this is kind of where I noticed I had options and opted for Ultimate Zenaida. And so in the right hand is the Curtis from Balaam. That's going to replace the Python Railgun. In the left hand is another Balaam goodie, the Ludlow, in place of the Nyx Machine Gun. On the right back I went with the P05 Act 02 active homing missiles to take the place of and upgrade the Spartoy launcher. And on the left back, substituting for the Lamia 2 Pulse Cannon is the Kranich Pulse Cannon from Schneider. Her mobility is good, her weapons slap. I've got some fun stuff lined up for you in a second, but first, if you're liking what you see here, and you haven't already done so, please leave a like and subscribe. It's a super big help. But that being said, here's some PvE, Arena, and then a couple of PvP matches sprinkled on top.
Enemy coral response. Silent. Wait. It's coming back. It's reactivating. Is this what the Ibis series is truly capable of? It's resonating the in the coral, drawing power from its environment. It won't stop until we destroy its generator. Left-hand ammunition at 50%. Enemy has taken significant damage. Picking up a powerful ambient resonance.
thank you for watching everybody and again thank you to zero blaze for the suggestion this was a fun one it actually kind of feels a little bit like playing as the boss and just as another little friendly reminder if you made it this far in the video how about leaving a like and subscribe it really helps out it really really helps out i appreciate it anyhow bye